hooked over here to the producing part. Okay. They'll give it off here, coming to the near side. That is number 43, Peyton Hensley on the carry. Here's a run right up the middle, and a nice explosive run. Tight formation. They turn, fake it, counter play. This is Hensley off the left side. He breaks the tackle to 33, he goes inside the 20, 10, Five touchdown. We said peace, bra. Peace, bra. Bill Free. As Hensley, he broke a tackle. Backfield. They turn. They give it off. Fumble on the play. And Bill Free may have it. it. Yep. Bill Free may have it. Let's see. Yep. Bell it is Bell Free football. Yard mark off for offsides against the tornado. They turn. Give it belly second man through. That is Hensley again. Well, he just got so much firepower coming out of that. Uh, out of Duca. Belfry. They fake it. They throw Ooh. it. Looking for the He's man. Open. Caught it. Touchdown, Belfry. Yes, sir. Looking Ooh. for the big tight end, Justin Kennedy. I'm sorry, that's Justin Barker. 86 instead of 88. Touchdown, Belfry. And it's 12 to nothing in favor of Belfry. So the two-point conversion. They turn. They give it off He's to in. number 27. That is Ethan Smith for the two-point conversion. It's 14 to nothing. 2.25 to go in the first quarter. It's Belfry 14, Paducah nothing. Back with a kickoff on more here on PrepSpin.com. Uh, nicknames. And the tornado's got to be one, right? Eh, possibly. Here's a nice defensive play from number 33, Paducah. They turn. They give it off to the fullback. Nope, they're going to run the option to the left side. Browning on the keeper around the left side. He has room. 40, 35. Cuts it back into the middle of the field. Knocked down inside the 30. And a flag flies to the back side of the play. Wide receiver to the right side. Full house backfield behind Browning. Option. They pitch it back to Smith, gets around the corner, another flag flies, he breaks the tackle at the 35, gets the first down at the 25 from their own 49 yard line. Browning, the option the other way, Hensley has it bounced straight back up to him, he's got the corner, he's at the 30, the 25, the 20, inside the 20, or excuse me, the 30 inside the 25 yard line. Nice run. A little option pitch and we have a second and goal for Belfry. Browning on the keeper around the left side. He'll go in, standing up. Touchdown, Belfry. Avery Browning with the touchdown keeper, and it's Belfry on top, 20 to six with 3.39 to play. Wide out to the right side, one back to the left. The wishbone behind Browning, he turns, pitches it back to Hensley, gets the left corner. He's got a first down and more as he comes close to the midfield stripe. He's going to be stopped at about the 48-yard line. The majority that would be of the definition of it. Browning on the option. Pitches back to Hensley. He's looking for a block. Block. Gets it. Inside the 10. He breaks the tackle to 20. He goes down inside. Did he get in the end zone? Touchdown. Yes, he did. And it is a touchdown. We have a penalty flag back at the 43-yard line. In the Belfry backfield, it is a touchdown. It is a personal foul on Paducah. 30 seconds to play in the third. They give it off to Hensley. He'll break it off to the outside, gets to the 10-yard line. First down for Belfry and goal from the 10. Exactly. They turn. They give it on the option pitch. Back to Hensley, swinging wide left. He's going to walk in. Nobody in blue out there. Touchdown, Belfry. He says uh, 15 minutes early is on time, and on time's too late is how that goes. Yeah, Belfry up now 34-12, to 12, and Hensley's having a monster, monster game. Yes, he is. I don't know, but I tell it, you what. It would be a great marketing They pitch it back to Hensley coming this way. You know, actually, this is Cook. Oh, that's neither one. How about that? Uh, that is Ben 
Bentley on the carry. Football's keen. In Belfry. They turn. Give it off to Nope, they're going to run the option. Pitch. Pick it back to Smith. Around the right side, he has an alley. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Belfry. And just like that, Darren Douglas, yep. Belfry on the board. 7 to nothing or 6 to nothing Pirates. Uh, Mary, be, Mary Conley, Mary right? Mary Conley, that's right. They give it off to the fullback. Well, actually, that's the other halfback. Number 43. Peyton Hensley, who walks in for the two-point conversion. So with 5.58 to play in the opening quarter, it took Belfry one play to go 45 yards and then the two-point conversion. The touchdown run by Ethan Smith and then the conversion run by his running mate at halfback out at Wishbone, Ian Hensley. It's 8 nothing Pirates back with more on PressPen.com. Back to the far side. They turn, pitch it back to Allgaier. He drops it. And the Belfry's got it. Fumbles recovered by number 33, Grayson Cook. So Cook with a fumble recovery, and nobody made a, a play on Allgaier. He just dropped the football on the tall sweep. And Grayson Cook... Johnny on the spot for the Pirates recovered it and sets up the Pirates first and ten from their own thirty or from the Barrett thirty-eight yard line leading eight nothing already. Got it in more back sneak and Browning heads off into the end zone touchdown Belfry. Two possessions, two touchdowns, five plays total, and it's fourteen to nothing Belfry. Browning throwing to the end zone. The two-point conversion is good. Justin Barker is on the reception end of that one. And our score with 144 to play in the first quarter is Belfry 16. And Barrett nothing. Browning, boy, that play looked doomed from the beginning, but a short game for the fullback Chafin, who will get it across midfield at about the 49. So it's going to be real close. To a first down there, stopped by number 68. That is DJ Bross for first down. Barrett. It is a first down as he got the nose of the football just inside the 49-yard line of the Hilltoppers. The timeout. They're going to actually re-measure that. So said first down, but they're going to change their mind and measure. So we can get you down on the football here and to look at it. Of course, the official is in the way. But uh -huh. See, you can't trust those guys any. <laughs> there you see the ball. And coming out with the sticks. Well, he first signal first down, and then he changed his mind and said, oh, I'm going to measure. Let's see how good his eyes is. He got about, about the uh, nose of the football. He got about nose of the football. Yep. Nose of the football, first down, Belfry. And I'm quite a bit older than you, too, so I need my beauty sleep. Browning th throws a pass. It is caught by Hensley. He'll take it to the house. He's Touchdown, brought. Belfry with 2.28 to play in the – first half and that's just a matter of height and lack of height. Hensley probably goes about 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, I don't know. That was a pretty athletic catch. Well, the cheerleaders usually, just told me. Usually when it comes to football it does and the two point conversion is good and I believe that was Ethan Smith for the two point conversion. And Dennis kicks it here to the near side. Browning comes in this way, it bounces the 40, he has it the 43, he has an alley, 40, uh -oh. 35, 30, 20, 15, going to be dropped down, boy, I skipped all the way down to the 15, you notice how I did that? Better not so cold. There so. you go, so here we go, they turn, give it off to Smith, right, this is Hensley actually on the right side, he, he breaks the tackle to 10, 5, and it'll be stepped He's out of in. bounds. Did he step out? Nope, oh, he didn't no. step out of bounds, touchdown, Belfry backed his way into the end zone. That'll be the most unusual touchdown he's had where he backed himself over the end zone into. He actually it looked like he was trying to find where the pylon was where he could maybe just step inside it. I told you, I, you know, I said last night how they take their sports seriously up there in the 
the area around Belfry, and the touchdown, or the two-point conversion is good by Chafin. So, Belfry, four possessions, four touchdowns, and four two-point conversions. They lead with 49.2 seconds to play, 32 to eight over Barrett. Just double A says you can either, they'll either agree or disagree to it. Browning, option pitch left. Here's Hensley, he has the corner, 40 inside Barrett territory, weaves his way inside, out now to the 30, inside the 25 to the 20 yard line. Good quarterbacks can draw people off sides real easy. Browning turns, gives it off to, nope, he's gonna keep it himself around the right side, he's at the five. And goes in, walks in, stumbles in, actually across the goal line for a Belfry touchdown. He got tripped up on the step over there, but he made it in. Now I think that good old fashioned sports turf Grimlin reached up and grabbed him about the one yard line, but he was very much already around the corner and it's 38 to eight in favor of Belfry with 4.53 to play. The, uh, Tweets and, and messages. Two more. Ethan Smith goes in off the left side for the two-point conversion. So with 4.53 to play in the third quarter, it's Belfry 40. And Barrett 8, there's not one guy on that sidelines that has been any kind of horseplay or anything going mm -hmm. on. They pitch it back to Allgaier looking to get outside, and he's not oh. there. And Browning takes the football oh. from him. In the state championship game, they have opened up hole after hole after hole. They'll throw it in the corner. This is Got it. Jordan Barker, or Justin Barker, for the touchdown for Belfry. And he has his first touchdown of the afternoon, second in the two games, the semis and the finals, and they now lead it 46 to 16. 86 picks up his six. He's a big, tall, nice little target. They'll throw it, and it's tipped, and then he and still he catches it. it. Barker still catches it. 48 to 16 in favor of Belfry with 5.53 to play in the ball game. Bench here in front of me to my right, but I, I, I haven't uh, been able to see his number. But good luck from Stephanie. Let's celebrate this team What in their accomplishments today. Dennis back to throw, hit as he throws. He throws it up. It's going to be intercepted by Birchfield. Nice. Isaiah Birchfield with an interception, and Belfry continues to just blanket these Barrett receivers that put a ton of pressure on the quarterback, Garrett Dennis. Well, Birchfield had one earlier, an interception, just ricochet off his hands, incomplete. This one, though, he was in perfect position and able to come down with the interception and give the ball back over to Belfry. Brownie gives it off to Ooh, Cook nice. on the right side. He bursts through the hole and gets to the Barrett 45-yard line. Oh, my goodness. What they you got think him. you are? Well, the head coach just got doused with water, Coach, coach Miller, and uh, his uh, assistant coaches ran on it. They all kind of hurled him into the middle of that, and they got him <laughs> with the water. <laughs> timeout on the field as Barrett calls their final timeout of the game. So with 48.4 to play, it's Belfry 48 and Barrett 24. And uh, this is that uh, talk where Coach is saying, hey, we got this thing wrapped yeah. up now. Well, and but they're also, you know, telling them just, hey, just, Let's close this thing out. Let's then celebrate with our fans and get to celebrate with all the people back home that weren't able to make the trip today or yesterday for various reasons. And, you know, we want to congratulate not only Belfry on the state championship, but we want to, again, congratulate Barrett on a wonderful season to get here and making their first ever state championship game appearance. So Belfry, the Pirates, three peaks. And they sweep home the entire championship trophies as the Barrett cheerleaders take home the competition and spirit award for Division II. And the Pirates football team takes home the state championship on the gridiron with a 48-24 victory over a really good Barrett team that they just hit them hard early on right in the mouth with two early touchdowns and from that point on it was just 
simply Belfry taking care of business and Barrett continuing to fight and scrap, which is what you like to see at this level, mm -hmm. and uh, winds up being a, Bel uh, a Belfry victory. But uh, looking forward to uh, seeing this group as they get older and seeing how they mature and going from there. All right, folks. Uh, again, to all of the people twitting, <laughs> tweeting, twitting, twitting. <laughs> tweeting us. Wow. Uh, thank you so much again for the for all the support. Hey, stick around and help us out through the next two games. There you go. This is gonna be rough. But uh, again, your Pirates, they're champions. They're going to be presented here in the middle of the field with the trophy and the Golden Eagles of Johnson County. It should be a dandy football game for the seventh grade championship coming up here in just a few moments. There's your team getting their trophy there. State champions. Belfry Pirates. So the final score again was Belfry 48 and Barrett Middle School 24 for William Warfield Darren Douglas saying so long.